Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications. My moving series has officially begun. Um, I did my apartment shopping, so if you guys haven't seen that yet, go check it out. But I have so many updates for you guys. I have so much to do today, I don't even know where to begin. Today I'm going to be like packing some of the stuff in my house and talking to you about a lot of things. But first I have a laser hair removal appointment in like 30 minutes and I still need to edit today's video. So I'm going to do that. I'll catch you when I can. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even have time to start editing. Why is moving so much work? I was just working on getting like everything set up so my mail forwards right when I move and filling out stuff for my apartment because I got pre-approved I got pre-approved and now they're doing the actual application and that's when I have to send in like proof of income and everything it's just like ah. anyways um I have to go <laughs> might still be chilly so I'll just bring a jacket I didn't even have time to do my hair it's still in a bun and like wet from my shower oh okay. Woo, that was loud my hair what is happening I'm actually not running late I'm gonna be right on time well, I look very interesting today. On my way to one of my last laser hair removal appointments, not because I'm done, this is only my third session because I'm moving and they don't have one of these there. Whenever I move, hopefully I can find a place to start doing laser hair removal again because I already see crazy results. So let me explain. This is a great time to explain the whole moving situation, talk about some things, and then when I get home, I can actually show you guys some packs. I have an official move date, I have an apartment, I know all that stuff, so let's just talk about it. So moving, I am going to be moving in just my car, and then my mom's gonna rent like an SUV, and we're just gonna put all my stuff in those two cars, and so I have to be able to fit everything I own in those two cars, so I'm bringing like my two TVs, all of my like kitchen stuff, you know, silverware, plates, bowls, pots, pans, my clothes, and then all my like studio stuff, my gaming stuff, but I'm not bringing any furniture. So I am working on getting rid of all of that. It's a little stressful because now we're down to 19 days the day I'm filming this. You guys won't see this for like a while, so it'll be even less. Anyways, my move date is officially June 15th. It was all kind of just dependent on when my mom could come out to help me move. My mom's gonna be in Utah on the 13th. She wants to like stay for like a day or two and then we're gonna start driving. So we're gonna leave on the 15th. That is my move out date. It is a 21 hour drive to Houston from here. So that is going to be not very fun. <laughs> I have some sad news that goes with that, but I'm going to talk about it when I get home. So um, if you guys watched my apartment tour video, I talked about how I found the perfect apartment. It's a two story little townhouse, two bedroom, newly renovated, so cute. Even in the apartment complex is one of my friends. So it works out perfect and I love it. It's not available until July 19th, and I could have just waited to move to them, but I really do not like living in Utah. So luckily, some of my friends that I met out in Texas were like, well, you can just live with us until you need to go there. So sweet, so nice of them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna be living at my friend, ah, everyone's hitting the bikes. I'm gonna be living at my friend Juan and Charlie's house. They're like a couple. I'm gonna live there with them for like a month. So shout out to them if they're watching this. I love you guys already. Already my best friends. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm moving there. They live like outside of Houston and the other place I'm going to is also outside of Houston but in a different city. But I'm not gonna say where I live because safety. Okay, I am home now and I think I need to drink a Red Bull because I just have so much to do. So my house is looking more and more empty. This is like all my clothes and like I have a donation pile going. I've got to sell my stuff. I've got random crap over here. Got some boxes. This room is looking pretty empty. I do need to sell this desk. This is pretty empty. I put most of the stuff in this bucket already. This is empty. This is almost empty. And the biggest thing, this. I packed away all my clothes I'm not going to need over the next two months. I have two giant donation piles going. Just so much. So I literally have less than three weeks to pack everything or get rid of everything. It is kind of stressful trying to get rid of everything because you're like, okay, can it all just be gone like right now? So I kind of want to sit down and um, have a little bit of a chat because I'm really, really like bittersweet about this, I guess. Like more sad, honestly. Let me just get what I'm going to be talking about. 
Oh, my little angel. I'm so sad. So, if you guys haven't followed me for a while, you probably know I have two Bengal cats. And I love them so much. They're like my own children. I've had them for about two years. They're both two years old. Zora's about to be two. I got Ace in June 2019 and Zora in December 2019. So I've had them for almost two years. It's been quite the situation, like moving with them, traveling all the time with them. And now that I am a single woman, <laughs> Ace is like rubbing up against the thing the camera's sitting on. Come here. Now that I'm a single woman and I'm gonna be living on my own, I just don't think, and it is so selfish of me. It really is. Like y'all can hate me if you want. I don't think I can have the cats anymore because first of all, it costs so much to move into an apartment with animals, um, like the deposits on an animal and they charge per animal. Plus there's pet rent. Like I've been paying that here and it made my rent more expensive. And, and then there's just the cost of having a pet. Like I feel like people don't realize how much it really costs to have a pet. Not that I like can't afford it, but it's like, it's a lot. And I really, it's just, it's a lot. And another thing is like, I'm traveling all the time, always going out of town. Now I'm moving again. And I just don't provide like a stable life for them, I guess. Cause like, I'm always just having people coming in on checking on them once or twice while I'm out of town. And I'm not here all the time. And it makes me really sad for them because they deserve to have like a family who's gonna have people home all the time. And it's just like, I don't know. I know it's selfish and I know like, don't get a pet if you're not gonna keep it. But I just keep thinking they're only two. I'm gonna have them for the next like 15 years because Bengals live till they're like 17. And that's gonna be like the next like five to 10 years. I don't know where my life is gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna be traveling a lot, if I'm gonna be moving a lot. And I just, I can't keep bringing them everywhere with me. It's, it's a lot to have two pets by yourself. So I have decided that I'm gonna give them away. So I am getting rid of my cats, which is like the saddest thing. I never thought I would say that because I spent so long looking for these cats and I love them with all of my heart. It's, it's, it's a huge responsibility having pets and I would rather give them to a family who can really provide for them. So I don't know, it might be stupid and it might be selfish. It is selfish, it is stupid. Y'all can hate me, but you know, I've got to do what's best for me, I guess. Oh my gosh, guys, I just got the best news. I was literally so sad, like off camera. I was literally crying because I was so sad and Ace kept coming up and cuddling me. And I was like, I can't, I can't get rid of them. I can't do it, but like, I, I, I have to. And like, I need to, but I can't. And I was literally so sad. And I just got a text that Niall and Brittany are gonna take the cats. So that makes me really, really happy. And me and Stella, I already know they're gonna be so excited and they can stay in the family. So when I go home to visit Missouri, hopefully I can go visit the cats. And then my ex can still see the cats and like everything. Like, I'm just so, I'm so happy. That is like the biggest burden that could have been lifted off of me, knowing that the cats can stay in the family. So I guess the plan is now I am gonna keep the cats until the drive and we're gonna meet somewhere like on the way down to Houston. We're gonna be going closer to Missouri. So we'll probably meet in like Wichita, Kansas or something and exchange the cats. So anyways, I just thought I'd let you guys know so you weren't like, what happened to your cats? Trying to be open and honest about it. Anyway, so I want to show you guys what I mean. Like when I say I packed away all my clothes and stuff, I put them, this is like the stuff from my linen closet, but they're in these like vacuum sealed bags since I'm not gonna be needing like my winter clothes or all these blankets and stuff until I actually move into my apartment and not my friend's house. So I'm just packing everything away. And instead of doing a bunch of cardboard boxes, I bought a bunch of these bins. So I have like two of these big ones for all of my blankets and clothes. And then I have these like smaller ones, these like really small ones for just like random stuff. And then some just like normal sized ones for the rest of my stuff. So hopefully I can fit them into as little amount of these buckets as possible. And then I'll put the rest of my clothes literally in my suitcase. Hopefully everything fits. I'm just trying to like get rid of as much stuff as I can and kind of start fresh. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna actually edit now and then I'll catch you guys when I'm done and actually do some packing. Just got done editing and then literally could not find my camera. I've been looking all over my house. I finally found it. It was just sitting on my dresser. This is such an awkward time because I just want everything to be packed already. But like I can't pack things because I have to live for the next few weeks. But then I don't want to put it all off to where I'm a week out and I still have so much to pack. So I'm like, what can I do now? What can I pack now? So I think I'm just gonna kind of go through stuff in my kitchen and if I know I'm not gonna use it over the next few weeks, then like I don't need all of my bowls, you know? So I think I might just like do stuff like that, throw stuff away that I don't need anymore. Buckets. And then these are things to like wrap things. Did that make sense? I don't know.
Oh my gosh, do you guys remember when I did my In-N-Out burger video and I couldn't make the sauce because I didn't have enough ketchup? I just found a whole bag of ketchup that I could have used. I smate. All right, so these are all the cups and stuff I don't need right now. And like, we are getting more and more empty. I mean, look at these. Look at this. Beautiful, we love that. Okay, I really hope that this marker shows up on this. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay, literally wipes away. I think I need a Sharpie. I have a, uh, I have a silver Sharpie, but I don't know if that'll, I mean, you can kind of tell what it says. Can you read that? I can read that. I can always just open the freaking thing to see what's in it, so it's not that big of a deal. Ow, I just hit myself in the face. Um, kitchen, bucket, pool. Let's see how heavy it is. Ooh, okay, not bad. So once I'm done, I'm gonna put them just behind my couch and then I can get a little stack going over there. Started another little donate basket thing. Okay, I know that wasn't much today. I did a lot the other day, so I'm just not in the mood today. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Ugh. Okay, it's the next day. Ah, I feel like I pack so much. Pack, pack, pack. I still have so much stuff. Like what, where did everything come from? I don't know. Why do I own it? I don't know. What do I do with it? I don't know. Anyways, just sold my rug that was in my garage, that like giant rug that I had. So that's good to finally get that out. Um, someone's coming to get the couch today. Also from all my Facebook marketplace deals, I just have like all this cash, um, just from like selling all my furniture that I really need to go deposit into my bank account. I was also just like canceling subscriptions and changing addresses and all of that crazy stuff. Also finishing my application for my apartment. I got pre-approved, but I haven't gotten full approval yet. Anyways, so much going on. I just, uh, moving is always so stressful, especially like I'm not just moving down the street or down to another city. I'm moving across the country. Again, why do I do this to myself? But I also wanna say thank you to everyone who has noticed how happy I am and how happy and how fun it was going to Texas. Literally so excited to go, so excited to live with my friends for like a month. I was so happy there. Like every second was fun, happy, laughing, so good. Having good friends, so important. It's honestly so underappreciated how important it is to have friends. I love you, Ace. I gonna miss you so much. I'm actually crying, I'm not okay. Anyways, today's update. I now have three completely full buckets. Can't wait till this couch is gone. That's gonna like relieve a lot of stress, I feel like. Once the couch and the dresser are gone, a lot of my stress will be relieved. I also, oh, and that, the laundry basket thing. I also have a bunch of donation pile going. <sighs> what do I do next? What's next? Oh, I forgot I got my washer and dryer. I have to sell that. Oh my. Mm. So one of my next tasks is to bundle up all of my hangers because I don't want them, you know, flying all over the place. So I'm hoping that that works. I need to like somehow tie the bottom. Okay, I did a little rubber band action just on a couple of them and I think this will work. I'm just putting a rubber band on this side over the hooks and one on the other side. And then the rubber bands kind of cross hold it all together. Quick little pause that I didn't film it, but I was just doing more stuff of transferring more things and calling more companies and st stupid stuff you have to do when you move. So anyways, that's done. Let's keep doing the hangers. <laughs> I just want to say that I'm literally so happy. Like, so happy. I haven't been this happy in literally don't know how long. Um, I couldn't be more excited to like start this new chapter in my life and I'm just really glad a lot of you guys are seeing that. I just want to be out of this apartment already. All right, I'm at the ATM. I literally just finished depositing all of my cash from all my Facebook marketplace deals. So that's great. Don't have a bunch of cash. I hate having cash. It makes me feel so unsafe. Also, does anyone else do this? Like if I pay for something with cash, it was free because it didn't go out of my bank account. So it's so bad like that I can't have cash because I do that and it's not a good way of thinking about life. Anyway, next thing I need to return this um, like little thing from my internet provider. 
but I had to make an appointment, which is weird, but I could just be like, here you go. So that's in like 30 minutes, but it's all on this side of town and poor planning. Anyway, maybe I'll get Jimmy John's or something. I don't know. So I did end up getting Jimmy John's. I always get number four, Turkey Tom. It's the best. Also, didn't know they had Barks there, so that's a plus. They have new chip bags. Are they the same kind of chips? I think they're the same, but I like them. I like the new chip bag. Interesting. I always get barbecue. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and listen to my podcast. Boom, just returned that thing. So now I can go back home. I am home now. I swear this donation pile gets bigger every single time I look at it. I don't know how I'm gonna fit all on my car. So I realized that this whole like packing and getting rid of everything is actually a lot and it's probably gonna be one or two other videos but I wanted to just wrap up today's video and show you guys that I sold that laundry basket thing and this is all to be donated. Someone's coming to buy that today. No more couch. I was working out so ignore that but it's a mess but we're getting somewhere. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the first episode of like packing and stuff. Second episode of my moving vlog series. So stay tuned if you wanna keep up with me as I move across the country from Utah to Texas. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.